modern air power. It's what drew thousands to the Luke Air Show. But right alongside these advanced fighting machines is what led the way to their development. The crowds here also got a glimpse into Air Force history. John McIver was a part of that history. He flew B-29s in World War II. Sometimes I almost want to cry. Just knowing that these youngsters have an interest in what's going on and what can be done and what has been done in learning. To John, almost everyone at the air show is a youngster, including Jeannie Golden, who is here with her boyfriend experiencing the history. I think in a certain respect it's overwhelming just to think about the people and the things that they did. You can't even really imagine what it's like to be in combat, you know, so it's fairly overwhelming, I think. There's no doubt the technology of the combat aircraft has come a long way since the early days of the Air Force, but perhaps the airmen who operate those planes have come even further. I think they're more disciplined now because the people that are going in the Air Force in these modern times are going in there because they want to be a part of it and they're educated better than we were because we just came out of the gardens and the fields and, and had no background at all. And we're forced into it and we're drafted into it and that makes it a little different. No, I, I think there's great pride in the Air Force too. Those who experienced the air show got a taste of that pride and learned a little about the history that made the Air Force what it is today. Senior Airman Brad Cameron, Air Force News, Luke Air Force Base, Arizona.